Hey guys! Today I have a fun video to share with you, and this one is talking specifically about my watercolor toolkit. So these are all of the tools I use for pretty much every single watercolor painting. So anywhere from like Sharpies to actual watercolor paints to even acrylic paints, these are what I recommend, you know, playing with and trying out as you go forward with watercolor paints. So yeah, so this is a non-sponsored video, of course, but I will have all of the links below in case you want to check out any of the specific products I use, and I hope you enjoy the video! So, this is my overall toolkit. Not shown here is my drawing board, which is where I mount my watercolor paper with masking tape. This helps keep the paper relatively flat while I'm painting, and I like to have a hard surface to work on. I also love using the masking tape because it helps create a nice clean border around my paintings. Next up is my palette, which you can see I hardly ever clean this. This one actually has two separate pieces and you can fold them together and create one, but I'm just going to show you this one for today. I haven't cleaned this palette in probably two to three years, but every color has its place and its mixing place, so my paintings really don't get too muddy even though I don't clean my palettes. To the left here, I have some of my Reeves watercolor paints. I bought these recently and reviewed them on another video, but I love how pigmented they are while still being super affordable. I really haven't noticed a difference between expensive watercolor and affordable watercolor, and I have been painting for many years now. But that also may just be me and my preference. I do want to note that I prefer watercolor that is already in a tube over watercolor that's in a dry palette. It's easier to blend watercolor from a tube because it's already moist, it has oils that are keeping it wet, and it's a much easier to blend just straight from the get-go. I wanted to show you this real quick. So this is my pencil I use to sketch out my base drawings. I recommend anywhere from a 2H to a 4H for sketching because it is much easier to erase or eventually cover up with watercolor paint. Another favorite of mine are these watercolor pens by Sai. I bought these on Amazon and have really enjoyed using them for a few years now. They have a brush tip and are able to deliver a ton of pigment very quickly, rather than having to build it up. Next are my favorite ink pens by Sakura Figma to use with watercolor. These are specifically made for watercolor paints, so they don't rinse off easily. I'll normally do an outline at the beginning of a painting and then go back over it at the end when I want it to be darker. Also, I do have acrylic paint that I use every single time, um, and I normally use it just for the bright whites. I never find that watercolor paper is bright enough for what I want to achieve, and I oftentimes layer so much that I end up needing to add some white highlights on top of my painting. And then these are just some of my favorite brushes. I have a ton of brushes and I recommend having a bunch of different sizes, but these are my go-tos right now. So my favorite one overall is this tiny detail brush. I use it on every single painting and I love to add texture with it. So it's generally a paintbrush I use towards the end of my paintings and it's really great for pet hair. So the next one is a slightly larger flat brush. It's also really small too, so it's it's just kind of a step up from the first one and it's great for adding small texture. And then this one is my second favorite brush. It is really, really nice to get some detail that's a little bit larger than the first one and it's great for painting hair. I also have some mid-range brush sizes, um, which I really like using as like my second or third layers of a painting to get a little bit more detail and then I build up to the small brushes I showed initially. And then this is my big fly angled brush, which is really just like a base watercolor paint brush. So it's great for adding a wash to the background and just doing an overall wash before you really start getting into the small detail brushes. And then lastly is my masking tape, which you already saw. I'm not sure why I'm showing it to you again. And yeah, so that's all for my watercolor toolkit. 
If you have any questions or have a tool that works great for you, then definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up below so that others can enjoy watching it too. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.